Hello and welcome. This video is going to show you how to use SPSS to complete activity 10.4. Specifically, you're going to be using linear regression. Now, in this uh, activity, what you're trying to do is you're trying to predict someone's final exam score in a stats class. It's actually, this data came from, this is real data that came from our stats class, and we have people complete reading questions throughout the semester. And we're interested to see if we can predict what their final exam will score will be based on some of the homework we had them do earlier in the semester. So in the activity, it asks you to look at the uh, correlation scatter plot between reading uh, question one and final exam. So again, we've done this many times before. We want to go to graphs, legacy dialogues over and down to scatter plot simple scatter plot and we want to have exam uh, final exam as the x variable and reading question one as the uh, y variable if we click on that we're going to get our scatter plot again there looks like um, some evidence for some response compression here a ceiling effect in that um, the many people are getting 100 percent on the first set of reading questions but again, it's the best data we have, so we're going to go ahead and analyze it. The next thing we want to do is find the correlation between these two variables. So we will go analyze and uh, correlate, bivariate, and let's reset this. So what we want to have is exam one. Well, actually, let's put final exam in first for a reason that will become apparent later, and then uh, reading question one. The order doesn't matter, but it'll help later, as you'll see. And we have a two-tailed uh, p-value, Pearson's, and so now we do it. And now we have a correlation, which is a very impressive correlation. So it says that um, there's a very strong correlation between someone's performance on the first set of reading questions in the course, those from chapter one, and their final exam score. Now, what we're really trying to do is, can we use this correlation, the strong correlation, to predict their final exam score? Well, we have to use a uh, linear regression formula to do that. And if you look through, the, as you will, when you look through the the text and you do the activity, it'll walk you through how to find and create this equation and then how to use it to make a prediction. But one of the things you're going to need to have is the mean and the standard deviation for the variables that you are using in your regression formula. So I want to show you how to do that quickly. You go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, over or down to Descriptives, and you want them for these variables here. So you can get it that way. Uh, here's the mean and the standard deviation. Now, there's one other way you could do it, and it's probably the preferred way, but I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, so if you went to analyze and then correlate and over to bivariate, you have these two variables already in there once you get them in there. If you click on options and click on means and standard deviations, it'll give it for you here. Uh, and you can see that the mean for final exam, that's a number of points, not percentage, thank goodness. They're the same. And same as number the mean number correct for reading question one. So again, I'd use the correlation uh, procedure to get it because then you can do it all in one step. And then what you'll need to do is follow through with um, the reading, que the activity questions, they'll walk you through how you can use all of this information to generate a regression uh, equation formula, and then you can use that to make predictions. A little bit later in the activity, it asks you if there are any better predictors, and basically that's another way of asking, is there any other set of homework or anything 
that does a better job, that, that has a stronger correlation with the final exam than that first set of reading questions. And that's a pretty easy question to answer. What you just need is a big correlation matrix. So we can go to Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate, and then I've already got final exam score. It's going to be helpful to have final exam score in there at the top, the first variable. And then let's just put everything else in and see which one has the strongest correlation. So we put all of the reading questions in there. Oops. Used to using a different program that automatically goes over. So I have to double click here. So I'm just putting all of the reading questions, all of the exam, like maybe previous exam scores are what's going to help predict final exam score. And this all RQs, that is people's total score on all the reading questions across the entire semester. And then we have all points on all activities. How did that, maybe that'll help uh, predict people's exam scores. All right. So now we just want to see which of those has the strongest correlation with uh, the final exam score. You'll click that, and you can see we have a huge correlation matrix. But if, as, if because we put final exam first, it's going to be listed first, and then all of the other ones are across. So we can just scroll across here and see which of these have the strongest correlations. Okay, so there's lots of um, significant ones, or lots of ones with impressive p-values as you look across here. So a lot of homework <laughs> seems to do a good job of predicting final exam score. Um, and I'll let, leave it to you to interpret this. There is one that has a stronger correlation than the first set of reading questions, but I'll leave it to you to decide which one is a better predictor. I think that's everything you should need to complete uh, this activity, uh, and I hope it goes well for you.